Okay, so we're going to start a new document. Okay, this is going to be to help you with your kerning exercise. So you're going to have Illustrator open. In my case, I'm using Illustrator CS3 on an Apple. So I'm going to, from the main menu, go to Create New Print Document. I'm going to just leave it as a letter size, and I'm going to have my orientation as landscape, which means that it is wider than it is tall. And I'm just going to change this file's name to kerning. You can just leave it as untitled for now if you'd like. So just hit OK. Now what I want to go over is the difference between kerned type and actual type that you just plainly type in. Okay. So let's go into our text tool, just right in here. So I'm just going to come in and let's zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Excuse me. All right, so I'm going to type in education. And you can see that there is a pretty equal amount of space in between each letter in some cases. But if you zoom in, you can see that the space between the C and the A is a little tighter than what is between the U and C and the D and U. The space between the E and the D is tighter than this space. Well, when you have beautifully kerned type, that's not the case. When you beautifully kern your type, that space has become something that you manually have made more equal. Okay? So using my selection tool, this top tool, I'm going to click on the selection tool, and I'm going to go up and I'm going to create outlines. Okay? So I have my words selected. And I'm going to first copy and paste so I have a duplication. So we go up to edit and I say copy. I click on my white artboard and I say edit and go to paste. So you'll notice that I have another um, word and exact duplication. The reason that you want to duplicate before you convert to outlines is that if you accidentally misspell, you can go back and have an editable version. Okay? So I have my editable version up here, and I'm going to have this version down at the bottom that I'm going to create my outlines. So while I have this selected, I'm going to go to Type, and I'm going to say Create Outlines. Now, you should quickly notice the difference, that this is an editable word that I can come in with my selection tool, highlight, um, and make edits, type, and do whatever. I go down to this, if I click on my selection tool, I cannot go in here and make an edit because these are now independent objects, okay? Now, to get into your kerning, you need to ungroup this word, all right? We're going to go up to object, and the fourth option down is going to be ungroup. So there we go. If I click out my artboard, I can now select each individual letter if I choose. Now, what you need to do is get your ruler turned on. So I'm going to go to View and say Show Rulers, or the shortcut is Apple R, or maybe Control R on a PC. So now that I have uh, my rulers established, I'm going to go to the very top and I'm going to drag a guideline down so that I can have my baseline. And we should all in week, in this week, know what baseline is. So you can either, in your kerning, choose to shift one letter at a time. I'm just using my arrow keys. Or you can physically, and I prefer to do this, physically grab the remainder of the word, and I hold shift, which allows me to stay along this baseline. And I physically grab the letters and shift them over. Okay. So you notice that this is becoming a tighter relationship. I come out here and I just draw around my remaining letters. 
I'm tightening them up. Come out here, do the same, and I'm visibly looking at the space between this and now the relationship between the letters is starting to become more even. Now you'll notice that you may not move some letters as much as you do others. I just made a slight adjustment to that A. And my T, I'm going to shift over. I've got three more letters to go. Oh, can't cross my gaze line. And then I've got the O and the N to take care of. And finally my N. Now you'll notice that it may look as though you have, you know, you've got this starting line. You'll notice the difference between almost a letter space that seems to be missing. Let me just shift this down to the baseline real quick. Um, but you can see if you zoom out that this education and this education obviously have a visual difference. And which one do you feel might read a little smoother in copy? Obviously the one that has got a cleaner, tighter current to it. So, that being said, this is how you create beautifully current type. And this should be a great prelude for your project. And this is how you should set it up. One will have the actual word unoutlined and the other will have the outline and current word below. Good job, guys.